Hello again, my duckies. Um, so today we're gonna go ahead and look at number 69, Morning. Um, but I want to tell you some history about the composer um, before we before we start. Um, so here's a little bit of history. Okay, Norwegian composer Edvard Grieg uh, wrote this suite for uh, a play by Henrik. I'm not, I, I can't even say his last name, I'm sorry. In 1875, the year before, the telephone was invented by Alexander Graham Bell. Morning is a melody from the suite. Music play, I'm um, sorry, music used in plays or in films, television, is music called incidental music. So, this song, you hear it a lot in movies, like anytime the sun is coming up, or it's morning, hit the name of the piece, morning, and it's just like a ray of sunshine, right? It's supposed to be happy, uplifting, wonderful. Um, and once we go ahead and start, you'll go ahead and hear um, that change. You'll hear, you'll know this song soon as we start. So, let's go ahead and um, look at it and then we'll clap and count it. So let's look at it first. Look at your clef. <gasps> Whoa, it didn't change. Look at that. Now, let's look at our key signature. Remember your key signature is your flats, your sharps, your naturals, all that fun stuff. Or for trumpet, clarinet, that space between the clef and the time signature because we haven't had any anything in our key signature yet. So, remember flutes, low brass, you have two flats, B flat, E flat. I give you a hint, you're welcome. Um, saxophones, you have one sharp, F sharp, hasn't changed, woo -hoo. wonderful. Now, percussion, uh, if you do have the bell kit, you have two flats, B flat and E flat, just like little brass and just like the flutes. Now, let's go ahead and look at our time signature. We're still in three, four time. Now. My brain just stopped. That's okay. We'll keep going. Three, four, time. Three beats in a measure. Four, quarter note gets the beat. Three, four. Three beats, quarter note gets the beat. Wonderful. If you look at this, we have a lot of quarter notes, some eighth notes, and at the very end, we have a dotted half note. How many beats does a dotted half note get? <laughs> Wonderful. Three beats. Just wanted to make sure you remember. Okay. Let's go ahead, clap and count. I'll clap and count the wood, wood, the, not the wood, the wind instruments. So that's like flute, clarinet, trumpet, saxophone, little brass. Those are the wind instruments. You have to use wind to make sound out of it. And then I'll clap and count the percussion parts because it is kind of different and I don't want you guys to feel left out. So here we go, wind instrument parts. I'll give you six and then we're in. One, two, three, one, ready, go. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and three, and one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Woohoo! We clapped and counted. Great job! Go ahead, if you need to rewind this a little bit, clap and count it again, just so that you get a little more comfortable with uh, the actual rhythms themselves. And it's, it's not super complicated. Once you get it, you'll get it. Here's the percussion part. I'm going to clap and count the percussion part. Um, I'm not going to say the flams because I'm not quite sure how you would say a flam. Um, if you need extra help, Message me and we'll figure it out. Here we go. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and one, two, three, one. Rest, rest. That was the snare drum part. Now let's look at the bass drum part. You have a lot of dotted half notes. So those are three counts, don't forget. One, two, three, one, here we go. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. 
Woohoo! Great job. Um, the triangle part is very similar to the bass drum part. If you look, one, two, three, four, five, six, the sixth measure, you have a different part. You have dotted half notes rather than those quarter notes like the snare, I mean the bass drum. Like that. Um, so let's go ahead and look at some more details. Uh, we went over the rhythms. Let's look at the details. The very first measure. What's our dynamic? Remember, dynamic is the volume level. Somebody say piano. Wonderful. I'm so glad. Do we remember what piano means? Piano means shh, it's soft. Okay, now let's keep going. So measure one, two, three. You look at measure four. We have one of those comma things again. It's a breath mark. So make sure you breathe. Now look at the next measure. We have a crescendo. I'm having to like do this backwards because it's it's different. So we have a crescendo. I think this is the right way. I don't even know. We have a crescendo for one measure. And we go from piano up to mezzo forte. So that's a bit of a growth. We're going from like here to like here. That's a bit. That's quite a bit. And then once we get to that mezzo forte, we come back down. And we, we decrescendo for two measures until the very last measure where we're piano. We're soft again. It's like the sun came up and Okay, so um, let's go ahead. I'll play. You guys shadow play um, just so that you can see what's going on. Okay, here we go. Six counts and we're in. One, two, three, one. Ready, go. <laughs> this song I know you guys know this song this is in like so many movies I bet you could name like three movies that it's in right off the top of your head I'm willing to bet bet here we go so <laughs> this time um, I'll play again you guys go ahead and play with me for realsies this time focus on your dynamics cuz that's what makes it interesting okay here we go six counts and we're in one two three one ready go How did you do? I bet you did really well. So, um, keep working on this piece. If you need extra help, you're still confused, message me and I'll, I'll post another video addressing whatever is still confusing you. So, until next time, bye guys!